Hi, everyone. Welcome back for our last session of our uh, Summer Developer Summit, this edition of our FreeBSD Developer Summit. We hope you've enjoyed all the time you've spent with us over the past three days. We've certainly had fun over here as an organizing committee. A couple of reminders as we get started with our last session. Uh, we are going to have a quiz on Kahoot, as we've mentioned a few times, and we'll be posting the pen to that in a little bit when we get when we're ready to start the, the quiz. Um, so go ahead and pull up a web browser or install the app on a device if you want to participate. Uh, as we teased before at the beginning of today, there will be a, a medal for the winner, as, along with bragging rights. So you, de you definitely want to compete. Um, we do have a survey with that we like your feedback on how this event worked for you. Like what it was it was like to participate in the, the summit? Which things worked? Which things didn't work? Uh, we'll be dropping that. The link is already on the wiki. We'll be sending it into the various chats. So please take a few minutes and just fill the survey. Share with us your thoughts so that we can do a better job in the future uh, with other summits. Um, as far as YouTube and the videos, we will be posting some post-edited individual videos of each session in the future uh, in, at some point. So you'll be able to share those and not have to share the whole stream with all the commentary, um, but can share individual talks. And the last thing uh, I wanted to talk about is we do anticipate doing some sort of vendor summit again in the fall. Um, whether it's in person or whether it's virtual, we'll still have to wait to see how the world exists uh, by the time fall rolls around, as well as exactly what time it is. Will it be perhaps sometime in the October, November timeframe? Uh, but we'll be announcing that well in advance once we have more details. So just be watching your mailing list or Twitter or however you get your FreeBSD news uh, for when we announce our next summit. So with that, uh, the next thing I'm going to hand it over to is actually Deb from the FreeBSD Foundation. She has uh, some thoughts she wants to share and things she wants to talk about for a bit. Thank you, John. Uh, you finally get a break. <laughs> so I probably have the worst situation here where I'm having uh, housework, um, some repair work done right underneath my office. And of course, they just started drilling. And so I have two dogs locked in my office. And one is, seems to be a guard dog or acting like a guard dog right now. So I still be barking every so often. Um, but uh, I want to thank everyone um, for attending this event. I, um, I mean, first, I'd like to say I, I hope everyone enjoyed this. I was amazed at the diversity um, of the talks. And it really ended up being more like a FreeBSD conference, which we haven't run before. And so I, I'm so pleased with uh, the talks and, um, and the fact that we had over 260 people who registered, watched, and participated in this event. So um, that is awesome. Um, I'd also like to thank the organizing committee, and that includes Ann Dickison, Ed Mast, Mark Johnston, Lauren Gurkowski, John Baldwin, and myself. So now, on behalf of the foundation, um, I'd like to recognize someone from the FreeBSD community who has made significant contributions to the project. And so I'd like to share my screen here. And like John said earlier, it's always finding that right window. And making sure it doesn't take over your whole screen. So I know this is a surprise, um, but John Baldwin, we would like to recognize you for all the work you've done. <laughs> Oh, there go the dogs. Planning, budgeting, dealing with catering, inviting individuals and organizations, and overall running FreeBSD Developer Summits for so many years now. I'd also like to give you a big shout out for the work you did on these last two virtual summits, which provided new and different challenges from anything we've done in the history of FreeBSD. And along with the organizing committee, you oversaw planning the days, picking the talks and sessions, and most importantly, I'm seeing every session for the past three days. FreeBSD summits continue to be successful, and that's due in large part to you. So thank you, John. I'd also like to ask Ed to step in and 
um, mention some of your technical contributions. Yeah, so I don't think I can um, uh, do the uh, the work that John has has done any justice. Really, um, I did look at some uh, some stats, um, and uh, the first uh, commit I find um, uh, looking at Git, maybe uh, there's um, some history I've missed somewhere or something. But um, is uh, Saturday, September twenty fifth, nineteen ninety nine. Um, and uh, I, I see 6,888 commits in the source tree, 200 in doc and, and 162 in ports. Um, and so certainly John's most well known for um, lots of very um, uh, deeply technical kernel work, um, but John has done uh, work on all areas of, of FreeBSD over a um, over more than two decades, uh, so it's it's an incredible amount of uh, technical contributions over time. So I think we're good. John, do you want to say anything? <laughs> Oh, um, by the way, oh, actually, before you say anything, you don't have to. Um, we are, besides this uh, beautiful certificate, um, you will also be receiving a cool personalized coffee mug. Ah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So I'm good. Do you, should we move on to the games? John, you want to say anything? No. Yeah. Less for word. Um, well, that, yeah, y'all are funny. Um, <laughs> thank you guys. Uh, or thank you all. Um, but yeah, let's let the game begin. Um, Michael is going to host our quiz and trivia. So that this should be quite enjoyable. Um, it is true, several of us work together to collaborate on these questions. So. As, as the organizers, we're not going to participate. We're going to watch and enjoy um, as all you attendees get to do the quiz. So this should be a lot of fun. This should be relaxing. So I'm going to turn it over to Michael if you want to take it from here. And we need to share the pin. So let me go po post that everywhere while Michael gets set up. I have posted the pin in the chat. Can okay. you hear all me? Three chats? Okay. There's three chats. There's Discord, there's, there's Slack and IRC, and there's Oh, YouTube. dear God. Um, I think I John, the uh, the pin will be listed on the um, the screen that we share as well. Oh, okay, that's excellent. I'm still going to splat it in some more places. Yeah, please do. I'm going to share my screen now. Or share a. Okay, right. did that oh, so share? Up. Yes, it worked. Okay, because it won't show me what you are seeing now. Okay. Well, we give some folks some time to sign up. We're up to 24. Absolutely. I know there's a lot more than 24 folks watching. If folks are listening, it's 563-2581. And, and I have to say that um, one, I'm delighted that people feel that a June Dev Summit is incomplete if I'm not wandering around asking impertinent questions. So thank you for this invitation. And two, I was impressed at just how evil some of these trivia questions were. So I, I'd like to commend the committee on digging deep. Glenn says he's disappointed you're not on uh, IRC. Ah. <laughs> I'm afraid if I had IRC handy, I would spend my days blithering on IRC and not actually making books. Indeed.
before I forget, uh, whoever wins the trivia contest, please uh, let me know. So make sure we have your contact info <laughs> so we can send you your fabulous medal. So that's just a reminder, whoever wins. <laughs> do we want to show? Oh, I don't know if we could do that now with Michael sharing the screen. Do you want to show the fabulous medal so people, more people will join and it'll be pretty competitive because everyone's going to want it? Oh, it's a medal of beauty. <laughs> Anne, Anne sent me the picture and I, I mm. would be proud to display this on my office wall and show it to all my coworkers if I had any. Well, I think uh, the next time we get to be in person, whoever wins, you, sh you really should bring this so you can wear it proudly during the next summit that we have in person. Like that's a badge of something. <laughs> Absolutely. This, I guess this is like microwave and popcorn. We kind of wait till the rate of people adding slows down. <laughs> and we decide we're good. I would say give it another 60 seconds or so. Yeah. I'm I'm good. Good. So last call. Yep. Like conductor on the train. Time to get on board or, or just watch. few more seconds here and I will give up. If someone keeps like, it keeps bouncing now between 40 and 41. Someone's undecided. Oh, here we go. 42. That's, that's a pretty good number. That's a very good number. <laughs> oh, <sighs> come on. Well, oh, wow, gosh, I was just to about to, yeah, I was just about to call it, but a few more seconds here. And this is a, uh, this is an important contest for bragging rights, clearly, so. Oh, certainly, most definitely. Oh, yes. Okay, I think we're probably ready. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I'm I'm calling it. Work Three, two, one, start. Welcome to the trivia contest. When is free BSD day? Choose the color and shape on your screen that matches the answer. It's only a few seconds. You don't have time to Google. There we go. June 19th. And Renee is in the lead. Come on, you folks can knock him out. What type of animal is Groff? If you've been to a Dev Summit, you should know this one. He is a goat and... 
Someone thought he, he was a dog. Okay, let's see here. Renee is still in the lead. Lightning fast gamer reflexes, I suppose. What is my favorite flavor of gelato? I did not propose this question. Okay, here's the thing. There are no wrong answers to this question. So total game. Wow. Come on. Someone knock Renee off the top. Here we go. Which FreeBSD release switched from A out to ELF? This is real trivia. That was version three. Wow. Oh, Ellen is creeping up there. Who wrote the first book on FreeBSD? I'm standing in front of you. You should all know this one. Greg Leahy, complete free BSD. Those of you who thought it was me, thank you, but no. And and Kirk's books on 4.4 and 4.3 didn't count because those weren't on free BSD. Correct. Those were BSD books. And Alan has the lead now. Oh, here we go. We all miss Ottawa. What is the room number of the first floor hacker lounge? at the University of Ottawa Residence Hall. Here's a hint, the MPT is a disk controller. Oh. Alan is still in the lead. Here we go. How many 1.44 megabyte floppies were required to hold the binary distribution of FreeBSD 2.0? Everyone should know this. I don't know how you could not. I believe I looked at the release notes, or, or maybe I actually looked at on the FTP site to see how many files were in bin that whatever. You're the best kind of bastard, John. It's no <laughs> wonder they honored you. Which act of God occurred during a prior BSD can? Oh, I, I, I don't know if COVID counts as an act of God during the conference. Yes, all of the above. BSD can is always exciting. Oh, come on, someone take Alan out. How many of Warner Losh's laptops have caught fire at a previous developer summit. The answer is zero. He had one catch on fire at home and he brought the carcass to a dev summit. There we go, Brooks creeping up. 
What unusual object did the Peter Wem Murphy field conjure up in the middle of a freeway at 3 a.m.? Yep, a Christmas tree. Mind you, I would put none of those past Peter. Oh, Brooks, go, put him down. You can take him. In what year was the FreeBSD Foundation created? I remember when this was just a pipe dream and they, they fought to make it happen. And I'm delighted that it's still around and still supporting. And yep, year 2000. Yes, Brooks. Go on, Alan. You can take him. How many files were removed from the 4.4 BSD network release 2 as a result of the USL lawsuit? Here we go, the answer is three. But those three files were a heap of work. Ooh, more peak creeping up. How many architectures have been removed from the FreeBSD source tree? Again, I'm, I'm seriously impressed by the committee's bastardry in coming up with some of these questions. Uh, well done. The answer is four. John, do you happen to know which ones they are? That would be Alpha, which I got to do, PC98, A64, and Spark64. There you go. Mark Peak in the lead. What type of food can you not order at Cora's in Ottawa? I miss Ottawa. Here is hoping for 2022. Remember, it's what you cannot order. And Brooks just called me out. I forgot about Sun 4V. Ooh. <laughs> and the answer is beaver tail. I myself have gone to Chorus and ordered a great big mug of heavy cream. It's delicious. Oh, Alan is back. Oh, come on. Oh, and Damon has three correct answers in a row. You know who to gang up on. On what hardware did the first Unix kernel run? Unix. Hint, it was not a Sinclair ZX80. PDP-7, there you go. Alan's still in the lead. On what hardware did the first BSD kernel run? BSD kernel, and yep, the VAX, which FreeBSD never ran on. Oh, Mark Peak creeping up. Um, HRS and Mark Peak, come on, you can take Alan down. What is the longest running BSD conference? Asia BSD Con, Meet BSD, BSD Con, or Euro BSD Con? I believe this means years, not days. We have not had a three week BSD Con. Yep, the Europeans. And this one was a bit, the trivia was a bit fun on this one. Um, 
because I initially didn't have this one right, but it turns out there was a, I remember it, there was a conference in Brighton in 2001 in the UK, and that's kind of, it counts that's, as the first Euro BSD conference. Okay. HRS in the lead. Ooh, and Tufik Takaya is climbing fast. We may have a surprise winner. What's the origin of Mount Zenu's name? There you go, Unix spelled backwards. HRS still in the lead. Oh, and M Horn is climbing fast. Number 19, which file do you edit to require a password in single user mode? This one was mine because I hate all that is good and wholesome in systems administration. Etsy TTYs, flip it to secure. Oh, Alan is back. Okay, one last chance to knock him off the top. I'm counting on all of you. Question 20, how many in-person FreeBSD developer summits have been held at BSD CAN? Fourteen. So our number three winner, Damon. Congratulations. Number two. Oh, Alan is number two. Yes. I don't care who wins. Just that Alan loses. HRS. Hurrah. Good for you. With Brooks and Keltia in number four and five. And I think that is when I stop sharing my screen. Well, we can see which questions either I had the wrong answer to or were hard for other people to see. Ah, well, let's see. 6% correct on Warner Lash's laptop. Um, and in everyone's defense, Warner has lost a lot of laptops, just none by fire at the conference. <laughs> and hard drives. Hard drives. Oh, hard drives. Oh. Uh, yep, that was a, uh, the, the floppies question was lovely. It's been years since the Hacker Lounge has been. And, open and to us. What, what were the wrong questions? U90 was is the building that the, the round lounge is in. Yes. DMS 1160 is where is the building where the conference is. Yes. And MPT is a storage controller. But it's also Mont Pettit. It's another, that's also a room oh. on Carefront. We've had a couple of BSC cans in Mont Pettit, I think, or Mont Pettit. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it okay. wrong. When is free BSC day? Come on that the foundation sponsored this conference. You should at least know when it happens. Come on, people. Which act of God occurred? Well, people remember the sinkhole, but we've had people trapped in Canada by volcanoes erupting in Iceland. Yes, and the earthquake. I distinctly remember the earthquake. Oh, the earthquake was, was very memorable. On so which are yeah so there's some debate about this one because warner asserts that two bsd ran with pdp 11 so all i can say is blame kirk because kirk <laughs> was the source of truth for this one i'm all right with that plan how many architectures have been removed most people did not answer i gather there was some i, I see some discussion in there's, some, there's some debate about the way in which this was counted. I certainly missed sun 4 v and I was counting directories and sys that got removed. So for example, 
MIPS in the future would not count as removing seven architectures, just one. So partial removal of all the ARM bits, I didn't count as an architecture. Well, when someone is the greatest committer, they, they're going to make some mistakes. Peter Wem. Oh, I miss Peter. And yes, <laughs> he, he had Christmas trees. And when was the foundation created? And in, in all fairness, that was over 20 years ago. Those days are hazy. On the other hand, I have strong memories of getting Build World past the A out to ELF transition. Uh, yes. I had to. It was, it was definitely a uh, trial by fire. At least at that point, we had added Build World and Install World as separate steps. I remember doing a 2-2 upgrade, which you still had make world as one step and Lord help you if it broke in the middle somewhere. Oh, oh those were the days. Who wrote the first book on FreeBSD? This was a tricky one. I'm proud to say I came up with it in the hope of confusing absolutely everyone. Well done. What is the longest running conference? Euro. Yep. Just before BSD can. And how many developer summits? How how am I, how are we supposed to remember this? No, that's that's very good. Y'all did very well guessing that one. Um yes. I had to go back and look at my own notes and count up. So yes. Ow. What file do you edit to require a password? I think this may be the answer that had the most. Correct. It's one yeah. of the two answers that had the most correct. So a bunch of competent sysadmins here. Congratulations. Well, and thank you very much for hosting, Michael. That was my pleasure. I enjoyed it. And thank you, everyone, for playing along even with questions that perhaps had slightly dubious answers <laughs> in a few cases. <laughs> um, and thank you everyone for coming to the Developer Summit this year. I know it's different not being able to be in person. Um, we don't all get to go out and go to dinner somewhere and have candied bacon at the, whatever the place was in Ottawa we've been through the last few years. Um, but thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for spending your last few days with the rest of us. Um, as I said before, we will have some kind of vendor summit in the fall, um, and we'll have more details about that when that happens. The hallway track is going to be open for quite a while, so while it doesn't have candied bacon, if you want to wander over there to hang out, uh, please come over and hang out with us. Uh, enjoy just hanging, you know, maybe we won't do a tour of Warner's basement this time, but we'll do something else. Um, but we'd love to see you over in the hallway track just to talk catch up on things. It doesn't have to be technical. It could just be hanging out. So until next time, thank you everyone for coming. Uh, and we'll see you the next time we have a conference.